What's up guys my name is Frezan Amjad and in this video we are going to create this amazing transition in DaVinci Resolve. So I have this clip let's drag this clip in timeline. Now guys let's select the clip and scroll down in video and we have to click on this freeze frame. So now if you want to freeze a particular frame then you have to hover this cursor to that frame and then you can click on this freeze frame. And now as you can see this is the freeze frame and this is the normal video. So if I play this video as you can see this is the normal video. So I am going to delete this clip. Let's go to the first frame of this video and I am going to freeze the first frame of this video. Now as you can see this is the freeze frame. So I am going to increase the duration of this clip and let's make a new compound clip. Now select the freeze frame and go to the fusion page. Now guys we are here in fusion page so I am going to first make this a single screen preview. And now guys I am going to drag this polygon and I am going to cut this clock. So you don't need to be perfect we have to cut this roughly. Now we are done. Now guys we have to connect this to the media in. And now as you can see now we have the clock. So now what I am going to do is I am going to select these two and I am going to press Ctrl C and Ctrl V. So now we have the duplicate of this node. So now what I am going to do is I am going to select this and I am going to invert this. So now I am going to select this media in and press shift and then we can connect this. And now we have the merge node automatically. So now I am going to select this node. And I'm going to connect this polygon to this node. Now guys if we view this in the dual screen. As you can see if we press 1 on the keyboard. You can see now we have the outside of the clock. And if I press 1 on the keyboard as you can see this is the clock. Now the next step is to animate. So now I'm going to drag this transform node. And let's drag this in between these two nodes. So this is the clock. So I'm going to add a keyframe in center. Let's go a few frames ahead. And I'm going to place this right here now let's open the spline and now we have to check the transform and now i'm going to select these two and i'm going to smooth this keyframe now guys we have to add a transform node in this area so i'm going to transform this node to animate the clock so now i'm going to press one on the keyboard so now as you can see now we have the clock or we can view this in a single screen now first we have to select this transform, go to the keyframe, open this transform number 1 and now we have to select this keyframe and drag this from the starting point of this video. Now press ctrl and now we can select this and then we can drag this to increase the duration of this clock. And now we have to also reverse this keyframe so I am going to open this spline, select these two and now we have to reverse this keyframe. So now as you can see now we have the inside clock animation. Now let's select this transform number 2. Go to the first frame. And now I am going to increase the size. Let's drag this. Now you have to zoom in until you have a transparent background. So now we have to add a keyframe in size. Go few frame ahead. And then we have to type 1. So this is the normal size and now we have to add a keyframe and then I'm going to type 0 0.5 0 0.5 and let's drag this where we have a transparent background. So now we have the transparent background and now if we view this video as you can see now we have this animation. So now we have to select the keyframe and then we have to drag this. And now I think we are good. Now guys the final step is to go to the spline, select all these keyframes, make them smooth and now we have to select this transform, go to the setting and we have to add a motion blur. So now as you can see now we have the motion blur. Now we have to also select this transform and we have to also add a motion blur. So now as you can see now we have the cloak motion blur as well. Now guys let's go to the edit. Now we have to add the original clip at the end of this clip. So I'm going to trim this. And I'm going to drag the original clip to this position. And now if we change this to quarter and if I play this video now you can see guys. Now we have this amazing transition. Now I'm going to drag this clip right here and I'm going to select these two and place this right here. Let's delete the audio because we don't need this. 
and now I'm going to place this right here and now if we play this video now you can see guys we have this amazing animation transition now you can also guys go to the open FX and search for prisma blur and then you can apply this to the freeze frame video now I'm going to change my playback to let's change this to half maybe and now we can add this VHS kind of effect now go to the color page and I'm going to open the clip select this clip Press Ctrl C to copy this, select this clip, press Ctrl V. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much guys for watching. And if you want to see more video like this, then subscribe to the channel. And I will see you guys in the next one.